my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and welcome to another or rather or weekly um karmic update karmic or third party update depending on what kind of soul connection you're in right now okay um guys thank you so much for sending me all that love yesterday because i was truly out of it and i'm glad that i shared my experience with you because i'm realizing um from the feedback that it's a collective experience and it's something that's like ebbing and flowing like the ocean so it comes and it goes okay and it and it's understandable because we're in the weird times and there are lots of shifts happening so <clears throat> you're gonna want to pray or do your grounding and protection meditations a little more often than you usually do okay because of all these big shifts and we are all trying to cope and then you're also anchoring energy um for your counterpart as well so you know double the work right so <clears throat> let's get into our reading today the music that i'm playing today popped up on my screen i've never played it for you guys before and it's actually called i am not kidding you guys stop bad vibes from the past L literally this is the name of the meditation i i don't I kid you not if you want the link just tell me down below um stop bad vibes from the past so i'm i'm gonna play it <laughs> all right so let's go so we're going into the um heart of the fairy oracle deck and we're going to get a significator for your person and the person that they're with okay what is the energy underneath here the paradox <clears throat> how Ooh. and there are actually two faces here how interesting is that beautiful all right so what um your person's recognizing is that whoever they're with they are, they are two-faced they have two faces i didn't even notice this guys so this is the first face mm, kind of kind except when you look at the eyes you know when you look at the eyes mm, something's up um but then there's also this person that's also inside so they're realizing they're in some kind of jekyll and hyde situation here but you know what the, your person had to experience this because they were also in jekyll and hyde vibes okay they were also in jekyll and hyde vibes and they're realizing that now so Whoever they're with has mirrored back to them that they are also two-faced. I'm going to say the word bipolar, but I'm not going to use it clinically. Although this may be the situation for some of you guys. But I'm going to use bipolar as in um, disconnected with self and, you know, um, what is on my screen? Sorry, guys. They're like circles on my screen. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's one here. And there's one here. Yeah, karmic cycles. How weird. Anyway. So, <clears throat> um, they, yeah, they were disconnected from themselves. They were wearing different masks for different people. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is what they're realizing now. And it's through the intervention of spirit. Because 52 reduces to 7. And 7 is a card of, of the... This is the number of the divine. It's a divine number. So, it's through the intervention of spirit that your person is realizing that now and maybe even the person that they're with is realizing that now <clears throat> all right so um a significant for your person that's the first time i've seen that card in this deck by the way um we have the bright spark now this came out for them last time i'm pretty sure of it so this person is continuing um to stand in their power okay they're taking action and the person that they're with we have the Lady of the Forest, which I think, did it come out last time? I think it did. And we talked about the forest having, being so deep, full of secrets, okay? All right, so this is what's happening now. It, it's, it's judge. I'm going to start with this because that's where spirit is leading me. Let me put these cards to the side. All right, so, you know, it's, it's judgment day for the person that they're with, the karmic, right? It's judgment day. We have the card number 20. Um, this is a wake-up call. So the karmic is receiving a universal wake-up call. Now, this person may have had a lot of secrets. And it looks like these secrets are being revealed. Now, this person is also very spiritually aware. I'm noticing the hair. Okay? Um, and I'm noticing a lot of leaves here. So, I'm getting something about, like, root magic. Hoodoo? Hoodoo coming through. So, this person is wise. Um, and wise in the spiritual realm. They may not come off like it, but they're wise um, in the spiritual realm. They may even be um, a healer in their own right, but they're doing that. They're using this knowledge um, 
to do nonsense to do nonsense so it looks like spirit is calling this person to step into their authentic self and into their power so we've been channeling a karmic that's been healing by the way for some of you this is them being under divine judgment for any kind of magic or anything any kind of magic manipulation that they've done in the past because let me tell you nothing binds people more deeply than shame and guilt you can work that i mean you don't even need any spell work if you know to work people's shame and guilt and for some of them this is the kind of magic that they've been working that kind of manipulation okay so let's see what this is about but this looks like divine judgment so whatever they put out there whatever bad vibes remember that meditation is about bad vibes whatever bad vibes that they put out in the past <clears throat> um it looks like um they're being stopped and they're being stopped by the emperor who is standing in his power because look we have the emperor aries and taurus energy and that is also joined with the sun which is the highest vibration of masculine energy so this masculine here this bright spark is standing in their power so it's a continuation yeah because they're seeing everything clearly now they're seeing everything clearly it's like truths are being revealed so it looks like it's judgment day um for this lady of the forest the lady of secrets okay the lady of the root magic it's 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 judgment day and your person near the end the bright spark they're standing in their power they've gotten that you see they've gotten that inspiration and um, that knowingness from spirit because look there's there's fire coming into the crown there's fire coming into the third eye this person has wings they're transforming they're returning to innocence right they're returning to innocence Let's pull three cards on that. Yeah. It looks like in the past, they might have felt powerless. They didn't have any boundaries. They didn't love themselves. Okay. Uh, yeah, they've been holding back. They weren't stepping in their power. Right? Not taking action. They, they gave their power away to someone else. But now they want love. They want love. It, look, it looks like they're having some kind of heart awakening. And this is what's caused them to stand in their power and speak and speak up for themselves that's what i'm seeing here they're recognizing that this is a karmic cycle that they've been stuck in um, for quite some time and now they're following their intuition what is their intuition telling them get into balance get your take back your life express your truth if we have the page of wands here um express yourself express your emotions um take a leap of faith that is what that is what their intuition is telling them however they're also feeling inadequate there's some sort of financial issue um that is going on here okay that's really working um on their psyche so part of them the intuitions tell them take a leap of faith that is the um download that they're getting but there's something about them feeling in inadequate in the material world and that's keeping them back <clears throat> and that's been a consistent message that we've been getting it's been consistent all right so let's see what are the emotions swirling in this relationship? How is each person feeling in this connection right now? All right, let's see at the end. We just got to take three feeling empowered so this is a message that we've got because we saw that emperor we saw that son feeling repulsed it looks like he's repulsed by the situation we're gonna pull cards and find out why and then feeling cheerful interesting um and in terms of the comic emotionally detached insecurities abound and absolutely annoyed Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Let me clarify. You know, I don't leave you guys in a lurch, okay? So let's see why these emotions are swirling right now. So DM is feeling empowered, okay? Yeah, because he's in love. He's in love. It's, it's like the power of love is like... <laughs> you know that red, they, they show me a Red Bull advertisement? Red Bull gives you wings? It's like, you know, he's drunk from the cup of love and it's giving him wings? right wings right there that's what i'm seeing here but he's feeling stuck too though he's feeling stuck as well 
um, as much as he's feeling empowered, he feels like he's stuck. Now he's doing some major healing. Um, and spirit is communicating with him right now. Tell him, you know what, go towards your empress because we have the queen of pentacles. And remember in my readings, all upright, all upright court cards are divine energies. So he's thinking about you, wishing upon a star um, for you. Um, but there, he's working hard. There's something here about money. There's mo there's some kind of monetar monetary issue here. So he's working hard in the material world to make things happen. Somewhere in his brain, he's thinking that money is the key. Whether to get out of the situation or to approach you, viewer, then this person thinks that they have to work hard. They have to have mass, some kind of money. Like money is their get out of jail free card. Maybe they owe this karmic money or there's some kind of financial entanglement, but, but if they think if they work hard and get enough money, they can get out. But they're repulsed. One, they're repulsed by this connection. And two, they're also, it comes out, this message has been coming through. They're repulsed by their childhood. They're healing their heart. There's some kind of shame and toxicity that's connected to their childhood um, that they're working through right now. This is the issue that they're working through. It's some kind of childhood issue that's been a secret for a long time. Look at here, the child comes out again. And somehow this is connected to the karmic. So there's some kind of issue from childhood um, that's made your person a particular way of giving your person some kind of insecurities or something like that. And this is connected to the karmic somehow. So maybe they've recreated the energy of their childhood with a karmic situation. Or maybe it's the insecurities from childhood that made them choose a karmic, but somehow it's connected to the karmic situation. So now, as they're working through this particular issue, they're repulsed by the choices that they made whilst they were vibrating in that energy of pain. So as they're repulsed by their choices, they're also repulsed by the karmic. But they're feeling cheerful. It's like life is looking up. Okay, it looks like um, this karmic situation, they're feeling cheerful because they've been doing a lot of now this is a hermit card and a hermit card usually talks about look looking deep within yourself but this is not the message i'm getting today i'm getting your dm has been taking a closer look into the karmic and what they've found there is some sort of deception let's see what this deception is related to some kind of truth was revealed let's see spirit what's this deception it's something with some kind of financial losses. And this is what really is pushing DM to make up his mind um, to leave or to let the situation go. So DM went into some kind of investigative mode. This is what I'm getting. This is not the, I don't usually, I don't, I've never gotten this message with this card. Some kind of investigative mode, shining a light on some, I'm getting something financial. It's something to do with the karmic. And there's some kind of sneaky behavior. Um, that they uncovered some kind of deception and it made um, DM very wounded. Very wounded. They're not telling us what it is. And remember, spirit will only give us what we are allowed to see. So all we're allowed to see at this point in time is that DM has uncovered something about the karmic. And that's what's pushing his decision making right now. Karmic is emotionally detached. Maybe he has always been. Heartbroken. Karmic is heartbroken, right? Um, it looks like either DM was being a player or she was being a player. I'm saying she, but you know, it could be masculine or feminine, right? Um, there's some kind of decision that's being made here. Um, it looks like this karmic as well is also making the decision to release this relationship. Look, we have a four pentacles here. So it looks like somebody was being a player here. Somebody's heartbroken. Um, and they're both making the decision to release this relationship. We have insecurities abound, and the insecurities, um, not surprisingly, um, focus on finances. Like how she is, re w w she is wondering like how is she going to make it alone? How they're going to make ends meet? It's it's financial issues um, that this karmic is concerned about right now, right? Um, but it looks like truths are being spoken. Truths are being spoken. People have gotten enlightenment. Um, <clears throat> and it's like, she's not fighting for this anymore either. But Karmic is highly annoyed. Why? 
Okay, so it looks like Karmic was trying to be controlling, trying to dictate the pace of this relationship. But the tables have turned. So we got this message since last week. Also annoyed with you, Diaz. Look at you here. Also annoyed with you. Right? Because the um, it's Karmic is blaming you for everything that has happened. Okay? But there's some kind of financial loss. There, there, there's finance. Listen, these people are only together right now because there's some kind of financial imperative. Whether they had a house together, they had some kind of fine business together, something like that. It's a financial imperative that ties them. When it's children um, and they're worried about child support, it's a financial imperative. Okay, it has nothing to do with the emotions or any shit like that. It's all about finances. All right, so let's have a look at your DM's headspace with regard um, to the comic. Let me look at my time. Beautiful time. So that's what's happening. Headspace with regard to the comic underneath the deck, the five of swords in reverse. Right, so DM no longer self-sabotaging. Let's see. We have the ace of pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the light, and the light at the crossroads in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, fire energy. And what we have here, we have the Strength card, beautiful Leo. What's happening here? Your DM or your person is viewing this comic as very unstable. I think in the past, um, your person might have thought that, you know what? They thought that this person was a twin. They thought that this person was a twin. They thought that this person was a soulmate. The light at the end of the tunnel, they really carried a torch for this person, but then now it, it's like the torch has been out, okay? And your person's realizing that they only got together with this person because of their abandonment issues from their childhood. And now they feel kind of stuck in it because there's been some kind of financial loss and there's a fear of financial loss. DM's wondering, am I really going to give up this so-called stability? To pursue my twin or my soulmate there's a fair financial loss here if there's a divorce on the horizon or whatever they're afraid of playing out of money or whatever whatever the cost is right but you know your person standing in his power right now look we have the strength card all right so let's see let's clarify and see what it's about let's see this ace of pentacles in reverse so no longer wanted to be in this karmic situation here yeah, ready to take the leap of faith. Keeps, I'm feeling kind of foolish about everything that happened in the past. It's like he sacrificed um, his chance for total happiness and wish fulfillment um, for this thing that he thought at least would be at least would be financially stable. And now it's not even that. Okay. So we have the light at the end of the crossroads in reverse. Yeah, recognizing that this is no empress. They're not dealing with any empress. Okay, this is a distorted feminine, and distorted feminine energy is clingy, it's codependent, it's karmic, and karmic in the sense of um, a karmic debt that exists between them. So, um, your person's healing now. The star card is a card of karma, so it looks like this karmic debt is either has been resolved or is about to be resolved, right? But um, there's some kind of financial issue that binds them. Look, we have the ace of pentacles, and then we have the eight of pentacles. All right, so there's a financial issue here. We have the five, yeah. So your person, um, it looks like they feel um, obligated um, to continue to give to the situation financially, okay? There's some kind of responsibility here. For some of you, this is definitely children here. For others, um, your person is thinking about coming towards you with some kind of reconciliation but their abandonment issues are keeping them back and keeping them stuck in this relationship. But they want to stand in their power if they're not standing in it. Look at it here again. We have the sun and we have strength. So this is all about um, standing fully in your power, the highest expressions of masculine energy. We have the strength card and we have the sun, okay? So they're standing in their power. They're just waiting um, on the right time to make them move and leave this relationship, okay? Let's see. Let's go a little deeper and see what's happening in their life. So what are we allowed to see for our highest good? What are we allowed to see? Spirit, 
in four cards what are we allowed to see we have thoughts Okay, let me tell, say one time because I've never gotten that either. So it looks like DM is thinking of you. Now, remember what we were talking about, I think it was yesterday, right? Um, for, we have to be more conscious about the places from which we manifest, okay? I think it was yesterday, either on IG or on the general reading. So what DM does not realize, or maybe he does realize, is that all these thoughts, all these thoughts about you, He's manifesting you. And what he is manifesting as well is a tower moment. We have a card number 16 here, which is a tower. So the more he thinks about you is the more he's manifesting tower moments in his life. Is the more he stands in his power and becomes a man. He doesn't know that he's a master manifesto. Maybe he does, right? We have the main male here, card number one. This is a magician. So he's a master manifesto. He's been enlightened here. And notice all the energy or all the light um, on his third eye and then the enlightenment here. So he's in his magician's energy and he's manifesting. So the more he thinks about you is the more towers that he's manifesting in his life. Whoa. Yeah. And we have family room. So there's some kind of ending that's happening in family room here. And let's get one more card. And then we have sudden wealth. Now, it's a card number 11. So it could be that he's finally seeing his own worth and his own wealth. Um, and this is through the intervention of spirit. Because look, we have 777, okay? So that's the intervention of spirit there. And spirit is bringing him um, and all his connections back into balance. So what is connections with family, um, with the karmic. Everything's been brought into balance because he is standing in his power. He's taking control of his life standing his power and he's manifesting okay who is he manifesting he's manifesting you let's see this thoughts card whoa yeah missing you and the more he misses you and the more he focuses on this energy um spirit is saying oh you want your counterpart well you know what we have to get rid of the other things in your life so he's thinking look at him in the fives here he's thinking about you missing you he wants to squash the conflict between you guys. Another five again. So the more he thinks about you, the more he manifests. It. He's manifesting you back into his life. We have the main male here. Okay. Um, and he's thinking about the karmic as well. How does he get out of this? All right. Because he understands that this is a karmic relationship now. He's seeing things clearly. Seeing things clearly. That he manifested that relationship out of his woundedness. But now that he's been healing... He's manifesting you out of that healing energy. So do we have the family room? What's happening here? Okay, so somebody is trying to manipulate um, him in the family room. So it could be a family member. It doesn't have to be the karmic. You know, these days we're getting mother energy. But before we were getting mother energy. But now I'm feeling there's a father energy here. There's some distorted masculine in his life that's working him over. I'm really getting that. So whether his father was absent or present... There's something about that modeling or that influence that's still there. Yeah. Um, but it looks like things are falling apart. Yeah, look, we have the ten. We have the four of wands in reverse. We have the ten of pentacles in reverse. So this all talks about big transformation and change. These are my two divorce cards. And then look, we have um, the death card here. So everything is transforming. Um, both in his immediate family and in also extended family members. Because he's finally um, recognizing his worth. Okay? So he's releasing all the things that don't serve him. All right? Beautiful. Beautiful, DM. All right. So um, why are these people still together? But it's, it's about money. It's about money, guys. I don't even have to do this. All right. We have the tower in reverse. So they are trying to prevent this tower from falling. All the things that they've built together, whether it's finances, whether it's a business, whether, you know, they might have children and they're trying to keep the family together. They're trying to prevent everything from crumbling down. They're trying to see what can they salvage, okay? All right, so we leave each other, but what can we salvage? 
Can we still keep the business? Can we still keep the house? How do we do that? How do we mind the children? It's these kinds of imperatives because they don't every they don't want everything to collapse. Okay. What's keeping them together? A queen of cups in reverse. So that's a karmic. Remember in my readings, or reverse court cards are karmic energies. So this karmic, I'm trying her damas right now um, to keep this energy together. This could also be a mother figure. Why they're still together. Spirit is keeping this together as well because there's still healing to be done. Look, we have the four of swords here. So DM is well on his way, but there's still some sort of healing that needs to be done here. Okay. And then the last thing we have the three of pentacles. So they built something together. You see them, she's holding a money bag and he's a stone and the hammer. They've built something together. It could be a business. It could be that they have a home. Um, it could be there's children. What are they telling me about these mirrors? There's a and karmic cycles. Karmic cycles. This is karmic cycles. There's still, you know, there's usually three circle, three circles. So there's still a couple cycles that need to close out. Okay, so there's still some healing lessons um, that are being taught in this relationship. But it looks like DM is manifesting that tower. He doesn't even know it. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you today. You can join me in the extended. What we're going to do there, we're going to look at how is DM's heart space energy for the comic. We're going to look at the comic's heart space energy for the DM. We're going to look at what the comic is thinking about DF right now. You know, hater. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're gonna ask what is the comic hiding. Let's see if we find out what DM found out because clearly he found out something. Um... We're going to look at what DM might have told the comic about you. And then we're going to look at the outcome of this connection by the end of the month. Okay. All right. So join me in the extended if you can. If you can't, please like, share, subscribe. And of course, if you interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that's beautiful energy exchange. And it helps me keep these readings coming. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. And thank you so much for the love yesterday. I needed it. Take care. Bye.